Welcome everyone to the AT&T Ice Desk. I'm Tanith Belvin here at Hilton Honors Skate America and I'm joined now by a true skating legend, US champion, world champion, Olympic gold medalist, and by the way, Skate America champion several times, <laughs> several Scott times. Hamilton. Yeah. Thank you so much wow, for joining us. Wow, you did that us. really well. Oh, thanks, I learned from the best. <laughs> now beyond all of your accomplishments and medals and accolades, most of us know Scott as someone who's incredibly generous and most importantly dedicated to charitable work with many organizations, namely the Scott Hamilton Cares Initiative. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about that mission and the vision that you had for it when you began it? Well, in uh, 1997, I was diagnosed with testicular cancer. I was on uh, the road with Stars and Ice. I was 50 cities into a 60 city tour and, and I was having abdominal pain and I went into an emergency room just to get medicine to get me back on the ice. and. Uh, they found something. So I went to the Cleveland Clinic, um, and in my journey of kind of dealing with cancer and the diagnosis and the treatment, I realized that there was very little support, very little information, and um, you know, I, I, I felt that there, you know, I lost my mother to cancer, and I, I began to understand the cancer community a lot better. And so in my survivorship, I decided that I needed to be a better citizen in the cancer community, and so I started CARES, which stands for the Cancer Alliance for Research, Education, Survivorship. Yeah, and I'm joined now by U.S. champions Katie Denny and John Coughlin. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you Thank for you having us. Here. Now, earlier this week, I had a chance to talk to your coach, Delilah Sappenfield. She has a phenomenal story of yeah. her own leading into skating. But one of the questions I asked her is, how hard does she work to maintain the atmosphere at the rink? Because I commented that... The couples and all of you, all of the pair teams from junior to senior, have an incredibly positive, healthy, competitive attitude. How much do you feel like she plays into that? I think really the um, the whole pair concept in Colorado is that you know at the end of the day we are the the team sport part of skating, and so we kind of take that to another level by not only supporting each other on the ice but supporting the other teams. Mm -hmm. And you know Delilah says to us every year, you know if. At, at most, maybe we all compete against each other 10 minutes a year. The rest of the time, we're training mates. And, you know, as we go, so goes the camp. And, you know, it, you know, success breeds success, and positivity breeds positivity. So we try to just keep that going because at the end of the day, it's in everyone's best interest. And I'm joined now by multiple U.S. Pairs champion coach Delilah Seffenfield. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, the fearlessness that you must have had as a performer definitely resonates with your kids. You can tell in their performing, yeah. in their willingness to try all of these new tricks. And I have to say, having visited Delilah at the World Arena with her school, the most impressive thing to me is not their skill level as pair skaters, but their attitudes, the close-knit group that you yeah. have, and the enthusiasm that they have. Your passion is obviously infectious, but how can you, do you feel like you train that attitude, that atmosphere of your training day in right. and day out? Um, absolutely, I, I'm a, a firm believer of having good discipline and structure. Um, you know, for me, having a, a skater come in and not knowing what they're doing that day or not having a plan, um, it's just, it's, it's not conducive to getting better. And so for me, we, I really focus on having the kids uh, have a plan for success. And a big part of that is learning how to deal with um, mistakes, learning how to deal with failures, and, and, and also learning how to deal with success. Um, and it's always, uh, you have, I always tell my, my kids that, you know, you're never successful alone. You always have a group that, uh, teammates that helps you along the way. And so when they are supportive, supportive to each other, um, and they push each other, it, it just makes for a, a very competitive and strong training environment. And I'm joined by a face that many of you are now very familiar with if you're a fan of figure skating or have attended any of U.S. figure skating's events. Our in-house host, or in-arena host, I should say, Rusty Cath, thank you for joining me. First question, where's the desk? This is the ice desk, there is no desk. No, 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 the tables are turned here. Okay, I'm I sorry. ask the questions. All right. <laughs> Thank you. It's great to be here. So take me back to when you received the phone call. Like, hey, Rusty, do you want to come host a figure skating event? How familiar were you with the sport beforehand? And have you learned much from watching it over the last few years? Yeah, so when you first get that call and you're um, landscaping and working construction for many hours a day and you hear, hey, do you want a job doing? You say, yes, whatever, <laughs> whatever they say after that, yes.